For this example, we're going to take a half inch end mill and calculate the cutting forces as shown in the short video. The cutter used is a half inch high speed steel four fluid end mill with a cutting speed of 400 feet per minute, spinning at 3056 RPM and feeding at 122.24 inches per minute. For milling, the formula to calculate the cubic inches per minute of material removal is the feed rate times the cutter width times the cutter depth. When performing our calculations, we always want to assume the worst case scenario. The maximum amount of material removed in this case is more than a half inch, so we'll use the cutter width as half inch, and we're cutting all of the stack at once, so the cutter depth will also be a half inch. Making the volume of material removed 30.56 cubic inches per minute. Next, to calculate the horsepower, we multiply the 30.56 cubic inches per minute times 0.33, the machine K factor, and divide by 70% to get 14.41 required horsepower to cut this. Now that we know the horsepower, we can calculate the cutting force by multiplying the 14.41 times the 33,000 and dividing by the 400 feet per minute cutting speed to get approximately 1,200 pounds of cutting force. Next, we'll double the cutting force to 2,400 pounds and make sure we choose appropriate clamps. Since I'm using strap clamps, I need to examine the chart closely. To get 2,400 pounds, I will need to use two 3 8 16 bolts or one half inch 13. Armed with this knowledge, I now know anywhere I have two strap clamps on my bundle are fine. However, where I just have the one strap clamp, I either need to change it to a half inch 13 or get two clamps in that location.